took 17 years, but Alan Johnson can now be called champion. The NHRA Pro Stock driver needed only to qualify for the 16-car field in Pomona, California to clinch the title. He did that on Saturday, turning in the second quickest lap of the qualifying. On Sunday, in eliminations, Johnson roared to victory, setting up an all-Mopar final round against his teammate, Vincent Nobile. Johnson left the line first and never trailed en route to his series-leading seventh win of the season and first career pro stock title. Mopar's given us great parts, what can I say? And, and we, they've listened to us and evolved these parts over the last few years. And the engineers have worked with us to fix problems, to do stuff. That's made other people stand up and say, hey, Mopar's a great product, They're, we want. The native of Greenville, Tennessee, ended the season with a career-high 55 round wins over the course of the 23 race season. In Funny Car, Jack Beckman won the championship by just two points over his Don Schumacher racing teammate, Ron Caps. For Beckman, the title was his first and the second straight for Don Schumacher racing in the Funny Car class. On to the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, and Brad Keselowski has taken a commanding lead in the point standings in the Chase Championship. The Rochester Hills, Michigan native, driving the number two Miller Lite Dodge Charger, finished sixth in the action-packed AdvoCare 500 Sunday afternoon at Phoenix International Raceway. Kislowski, who claimed his 23rd top 10 finish of the season, has a 20-point edge over Jimmy Johnson, entering the final race of the season at Homestead Miami Speedway. Kislowski can clinch his first NASCAR Sprint Cup championship with a finish of 15th or better on Sunday at Homestead, or 16th place and lead at least one lap. If he leads the most laps, a 17th place finish gives him the title regardless of what Johnson does. An accident on lap 301 ended Sam Hornish Jr.'s day. Hornish, behind the wheel of his number 22 Shell Pennzoil Dodge Charger, was credited with a 31st place finish in the final rundown. On the NASCAR Nationwide circuit, Kislowski and Hornish saw potential top five finishes slip away Saturday afternoon during the Great Clips 200 at Phoenix. Kozlowski was a threat for the win, but his chances to visit victory lane went away on a restart late in the race. Thanks to a flurry of cautions over the final 50 laps and another pit stop for a set of tires, Kozlowski was able to slice his way through traffic and finish ninth. Hornish was running seventh when he went for a spin down the backstretch on lap 157, bringing out the seventh caution of the race. Like Kislowski, Hornish picked off several positions in the final stages of the race, 10 over the final 22 laps, to post a 14th place finish. In the Camping World Truck Series race at Phoenix, Ryan Blaney picked his way through a caution-filled Lucas Oil 150 to score a 5th place finish Friday night. The driver of the number 29 Ram earned his third top five in nine NASCAR Camping World Truck Series starts this season. David Mayhew scored a 12th place finish. For This Week in Motorsports, I'm Pete Misiak.